questions the Minister of Health. <laughs> Speaker, every day we read about the opioid crisis in Ontario and the many deaths resulting from overdose. Police officers, who are often first to find those who have overdosed or run the risk of inadvertently ingesting the illicit drugs during their duty, that place their lives at risk. Back in October, the government announced the expansion of the supply of naloxone. Unfortunately, these first responders were ignored in the announcement. This has left many police services struggling to find the money to equip their officers with this life-saving treatment. It's created a two-tier system in the province where some officers have access to naloxones and others do not. Mr. Speaker, the opioid crisis has overtaken Ontario. We need leadership and support for our police officers throughout the province. Will the minister ensure a portion of the funds his government committed to the crisis helps police services purchase naloxone for their officers? Here, here. Thank, you. Minister of Health, Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I know the Minister of Community Safety and Correctional Services will want to speak to this issue in the supplementary, but I wanted to take the opportunity, since uh, the member referenced uh, appropriately the opioid crisis, the public health emergency that we're facing in this province as well as across the country. I was at, uh, last Thursday and Friday, the, the federal, provincial and territorial health ministers meeting where we had opportunity on both days, Mr. Speaker, to uh, work together on the crisis and what more we could do collectively and nationally, uh, looking particularly to the federal leadership at ways that they could work to, with us to make sure that those supports that are so badly needed by our harm reduction workers and at the front line, including the safe injection services, including the, uh, the uh, uh, providing support to those, quite frankly, who are dying in incredible numbers uh, and are extremely vulnerable and marginalized, that we can provide that support that's needed. It includes the provision of naloxone. I think we're distributing in the order of 8,000 kits every single month through a whole myriad of opportunities. And again, the Minister of Correct uh, Community Safety and Correctional Services will want to address this specifically Thank you. in the supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. Back to the Minister. Speaker, police services have informed me that they have had to shift money in their budgets to try and provide naloxone to their officers. Unfortunately, this comes at a cost of other police services that keep our public safe. This government has been too slow to act on this crisis, which has placed a heavy burden on police service budgets. Due to their lack of support, some regions of the province may not have access to naloxone for their police officers, putting the safety of both the public and the officers at risk. Speaker, will the minister commit to expanding the availability of naloxone to include our frontline police officers throughout this province? Minister. Again, to the Minister of Community Services and Community Safety and Correctional Services. Minister of Community Safety and Correctional Services. Well, thank you very much. And I want to say thanks to the uh, member opposite for the questions. And I know that he, and I would say everyone in this House, uh, is committed to ending the op opioid crisis. Several police services have outfitted their frontline officers with naloxone kits, and that includes a few in the member opposite's own writing, such as the Elmer Police Services and the OPP, who have equipped all their frontline officers with life saving naloxone, Mr. Speaker. Municipalities are, in the end, responsible for ensuring an effective police services that meets their needs. And as part of our strategy for a safer Ontario, we are moving forward towards an outcome-based funding model. Okay. Moving forward with this modernization, police services will have more funding Answer. for local priorities, like naloxone for police. And when the bill is introduced, I strongly encourage the member to support it. Thank you. The, thank you very much.